Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. Oh, oh, I'm Santa again. It's not going to work. Fuck. I'm Spranta? Which one? That almost worked, but no. Ah, closer. Very interesting. I must admit I am very curious now. Very curious indeed in these case-deciding pieces of evidence you presented. The prey the Autograsu has been chasing all this time now stands before me. I can't allow this man, who has had free reign for ten long years, to simply walk away. I'm getting away now. Now is the time for- get- grab him. Now is the time for- hey. me. Oh shit! Don't oh touch. piss at Christmas! Now is the time for me to bring to fruition the valiant spirit that was given to me. I just love the idea of him trying to just run, walk away. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, he turned, damn it! He turned out the lights first. He's like, I'm just going to slip away <laughs> under cover of darkness. Gumshoe, just hold on to him for hey, a second. Where are, you, where are you going? Stop. <laughs> it's annoying. Oh, Quakers, you slow bitch! <laughs> so what is this interesting thing you wanted to show me? Some kind of pornography? No, the trump card and the videotape. Ooh. Jim Anime, the X pornography? <laughs> Definitely not that. These two pieces of evidence together make for the ultimate hand. Would you like to see some Animaniacs pornography? I got some Dr. I Scratch and Sniff pull porn. Pull it up right here. It's him fucking, oh, um... Oh, God. Oh, God. That is... No, that is very, very detailed. Did you draw that? Yes. <laughs> it's... Surprisingly well drawn, and I hate how well drawn it is. Is he an anatomy? He's so. fucking the good feathers, and this is what <laughs> where the real meaning behind Detective Bad word, Bad's words will be realized. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. <laughs> Something so wrong. Can you say pornography? What the you see here is security footage shot just before the KG-8 murder occurred. They're pigeons. It's <laughs> just him holding a pigeon and... Aquarius uh. is in some weird shit. From this footage, we know that the card is a directives card from the smuggling ring. This is the, the section that proves card. that the card was used to relay an order. Uh, that he's holding it? Yeah, yeah, he's got a black card. Wow, okay, that's pretty obvious. Directives obvi card. Take that! As you can see, Mr. Cochin is holding the card in his right hand. I see. What a fun cartoon! Lots of people hold cards. As, as Yu-Gi-Oh, is that is he the criminal now? The killer is indeed holding a card with the exact same design on it. But that card and the one you have, just because they look the same doesn't mean that they are, does it now? Ah, but there is a very easy way for me to prove that they are in fact one and the same. Oh, piss. All we have to do is simply take a look at this. Uh, Let's just scroll around, indeed. scroll around. Oh, look at that blood! What wow. the hell is that? That's crazy. Hey, that's gross. That's fucking gross. This dark red blood. Yes, this is your proof. Proof that the orders on this card were played out in that terrible tragedy. <sighs> the blood belonged to the victim of the KG-8 incident. With a bit of DNA testing, we can very easily verify that as fact. Mmm. Scratch and stuff. I'm just if you have no objections. I got inspiration for a new piece. Then I'd like for you to take a look at this next piece of footage. You're going to be in it, Mr. Edgeworth. I really you hope You get not. to meet Mr. Scratch and Sniff. This car that passed by in front of the victim's apartment building. It's an official Kadobian government car. <laughs> Which good feather would you fuck? Not! You could choose one. <laughs> what? Detective Gumshoe, if you could please magnify the footage. Enhance. On what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, there's a little magnifying glass on the TV or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. This uh, area of the footage directly links the smuggling ring with Kadopia. So if we look at... Uh, uh, there should be like... Hold on, I can't really see. Yeah, this is still very vague. Let me look. I'm going to move up to the screen and look. This the shape of this can... pocket and the directives card in it. It tells us that without a doubt, this person in this car is Mr. Cochin. <laughs> The license plate on the car was also captured by the security camera. And with it, we can easily find out who was sitting in this car on that day ten years ago. Do you need to go to the bathroom? My tooth fell out. Oh, your tooth fell out. Yes. Okay. Which is why I can say with confidence that you were riding in this car on that day. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Oh, shit. How will I eat gumballs now? 
I guess I'll swallow them whole. Ha! Ha 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 is so funny. You've done well, my boy, to make it this far. I go even stronger with that. However... He's just like an old, he's like a strong man. About your claim that I was riding in the car at that time, that's going to be mighty difficult to prove. How so? The Principality of Kadopia no longer exists. So naturally, all records from that time period also no longer exist. <laughs> that arrogance. What he really means is he's already erased all traces of them. Are we finished here, boy? Look at how shy, look at my bling. bling the only bling. weapon I have left to me now is this piece of footage. Okay. Now it's no. Uh, there must be something here that I can use against him. Uh, like mm. what? It, this is still barely. Yeah, it's legible. barely visible. But take that! What? What the? Ambassador Alba. Yes. What is it? You were once an army man in the servants of service of Kadopia, and it was you who made the many missions you participated in successes. Correct? Hmm. <laughs> Why the sudden backhanded praises, boy? Although to be sure. The brilliant medals on my breast were awarded to me during the era of Kadopia. But now I am the only one who owns this particular medal. In that case, the only person it could be who is sitting in this car is you. How do you figure that? By the medal captured here in this footage. It is clearly the same exact, I think, there's like three pixels, same exact medal as the one on your chest. What? No, what? No, it's not. It's like barely... What? This is how it will be, but I won't look back. For this is the path that I have chosen. <laughs> You've moved me with all your devotion to this case, Mr. Edgeworth. Why is he taking such an arrogant stance with me? It's almost looking possible, isn't it? For the lot of you to have come this far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. It looks like I just might lose our little game this time. You might lose the game this time? You don't get another round, Mr. Ambassador. Is that a fact? Very well. I've decided to confess and admit my guilt. You're going to confess? And I will accept whatever punishments that may come as a result. What the? Regarding the Damask the second murder, I admit it. I did it out of self-defense. You are claiming it was justified self-defense? Damask the second attacked me and I felt that my life was in danger. It was very weird and sudden and if I hadn't done what I did, I might be the one you found dead instead of him. <laughs> what a pathetic performance. <laughs> I'm not giving you one. Wow, you two really know how to laugh at inappropriate times. <laughs> wish y'all would stop. If you wish to claim it was justified self-defense, then we will need some evidence. It's always the evidence with you, isn't it? But if that's what you require, I'll provide it. That man left a mark on me when he attacked. What? I don't particularly want to show it off, but this is proof that it was in self-defense. It's actually pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm an old man, and sometimes I don't pay enough attention when I should. It's like that scene in uh, Emperor's New Groove where Yzma, like, do you remember that part where she's like, I'm just gonna take a look at this, and she, like, pulls up her, like, like <laughs> skirt over there, like, oh, oh, yeah, like yeah. oh, no, there's a knife. Yeah. But... But the Master Second didn't have a single weapon on his body. Oh, he just poked me. That's all it takes. Hold on. It's nothing to get worked up over because I hid the weapon. You hid it? I'm sorry, but as you know, a murder is a murder even if it's in self-defense. And I couldn't let it become public, seeing as how I am an ambassador. This is the weapon you seek. My special bonsai trimming shears. Ugh. It's covered in blood. Throw him away. Throw him in the guard. Hey, give it up. He was trembling quite badly during our struggle. 
But that's when he grabbed the shears that were sitting in my office and attacked. So you see, it was an act of self-defense. Is he right, Mr. Edgeworth? Since he is both a wound and the weapon that caused it, it's enough to declare it so. Ambalba. No way! Oh, which reminds me, I guess there is still one more accusation I need to resolve. Smuggling and counterfeiting. Unfortunately, all of that is my secretary's doing. I had no knowledge it was going on. Not so fast! Stop spewing nonsense! You're trying to throw my investigation under the bus in your desperation. If you want to get real honest, everything in this case can be connected to you. The murder of Damascus II was done in self-defense? In my trials, no man escapes his crime alive. Perhaps so if you were my opponent in court. However, there is one very important fact that I think you may have forgotten. And what is that? Uh. Ah! Ah! That's what you mean. Extraterritoriality. That's right, bitch. This embassy sits on what is effectively Alabastian soil, so any trial that is to be held will be in Alabast. Therefore, the crime I just admitted to will never be tried in your courts. Agent Lang, what is Interpol's stance on this? Agents investigate, that's our job. The judgment of people who have confessed to their crime, that's the court's job. Ugh. And I've already confessed to all of my crimes, Agent Lang. Furthermore, by the very nature of my position, I have full extraterritorial rights. Are you, is, is this the case, or is you being frustrated with the character? No, it's just Alba. It's just, <laughs> These rights are effective even on your country soil. Therefore, no matter where a crime may take place, I will never stand trial in one of your courts. That arrogance and your expression. <laughs> That's nothing like the face of someone who is ready to accept the consequences. Don't tell me you have your own country's judicial system eating right out of your hands. These crimes you all speak so seriously of. To me, this has all been nothing more than a game. You may chase me out of this embassy with your accusations, but it's no big deal. Alabas has numerous other embassies in other countries around the world. In my country, I'm allowed to commit crime. It's a horrible country. All you would accomplish is you would change the backdrop of our little game. These two layers of protection that extraterritoriality provides him. This is why he is one of those who cannot be brought to court. Yeah, it can't be. You see now, don't you? I live in a whole different world than you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and fetch your eviction papers. Go do that. Ugh. Is there nothing we can do? Wow. Is this the end of Miles Edgeworth? Yeah. Is this... Don't ignore the two we continue. That's, uh... Yeah, it's, it will not be continued, actually, as far as we know. Maybe it'll be... That should have said maybe it'll be continued. To be continued? Because they kind of spoil it. Yeah, they should put a little questio. Or do a Rocky Bullwinkle thing where it's like, next episode, Edgeworth gets evicted or Edgeworth gets the guy. Theatrum Neutralis Lobby. Uh, maybe we'll just pick up from right here next time. Yeah. Since the whole gang's all here and we're all upset. <laughs> we're all having a rough day. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much speaks for us all. It's, <laughs> two, it's two in the morning. Edgeworth is so tired. I am so <laughs> fucking tired.